here as Mason Miller coming back out. Got the final out in the eighth inning and looking for a four out save. Four of those on the season for the young Mason Miller. Facing Nathaniel Lowe, Yodi Tavares, and Travis Jankowski. Nathaniel Lowe taking his time out after seeing 101 from Miller and hearing this crowd. Advised. Moving two. Quick on that slider. See if that gets Mason back to the fastball. And a swing and a miss. 103. Low goes down. One out. Just blowing chundos. 103 top shelf ding ding that's the tardy bell mr. Lowe gonna need to see a hall pass Brings up Leody Tavares there's a called strike There is some life on the heater today for Mason Miller. Tavares for Mason Miller forever in the Oakland Athletic history books having the most saves by a rookie in Oakland history at 27. Past Andrew Bailey this year. I promise you he's looking to do this one in style. To stop play as a fan has come out on the field. And these fans are not going to be pleased with the one interrupting the moment. There's a can of beer that was just thrown on the field behind home plate as well. Security's taking care of the trespasser. Well, this is precisely what we didn't want to see happen. Well, the police presence is coming out on the field. They're going to make sure that this, is, this does not continue. This is something that we know our staff was geared up for, ready for, something they did not want to have to do, something they would do if they needed to. So look at Bruce Bochy. This is the 56th time he's managed a game at the Coliseum. Never played here. I mean, spent his playing days in the National League, but seen many a games right here in Oakland. Mason's going to have to start throwing a little bit. 
Well, and, I mean, if you're a fan that was at any point in time even remotely concerned with what happens on the field, you got to realize you've got your closer out there right now. Just kind of hanging tough. And Seth Brown is waiting for time again. We've still got objects littered throughout the outfield on the warning track. So it'll be a full count here for Leody Tavares. Well, like we're clear and ready to go. Stoppage again. Something in right field. Complete umpires ready. Mason Miller. 102. Tavares down. Two gone. Travis Jankowski, that's foul. Oh, what a cool souvenir for that youngster to take home. That's it. Here's the pitch. Jankowski fights it off again, 0-2. in play. Smoke bomb out in right field once again as the security guards will remove it. Some more trash out in right or left field that they'll have to remove. Jenny, this place is ready to blow. 104 out of the hand of Mason Miller. You think he's ready to end this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jankowski to Schumann. And the ground ball will end things. A 3-2 win for the Oakland Athletics. One more win for the Oakland fans. A W on a day that everybody in the Bay needed one. to Cool in the Gang celebration. Jenny, no better way to send the Coliseum off in the sunset than with a victory. I know that many generations that have spanned the life of the Coliseum in the building here today to take it all in. Very last time we will see those Kelly Green Oakland uniforms. Mason Miller. 
Snyder picking up save 28. And these fans the cameras out to witness it. No one has left their seat. Thank you for being here with us today. Jenny, I think we're going to have a, a special moment here. Generations through endless celebrations. Your passion, dedication, and energy have built a legacy that lives on long past this afternoon. Thanks as always for being the best fans in baseball. One last tip of the cap to the Oakland faithful. I want to take a minute. And here's Marcotte. To share with all you. How privileged and honor I feel today to stand on this field. It hit me last night. I know it's been hitting us, all of us, at different times. For me, it was after the game last night. I walked into this stadium. My amazing wife dragged me down onto this field. And we took it all in. I'm going to keep this short because I, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to make it through this. To the staff who've dedicated their lives to the Oakland A's, especially those who aren't coming with us, I am forever grateful and will never forget you. And to all of you, on behalf of my staff, myself, this team, all the past players and coaches, everyone who's worn the green and gold. There are no better fans than you guys. Thank you Thank all you for all loving the game of baseball. Thank you for, Thank your, you for your lifelong support, support of the Oakland, Oakland A's. A's. And last, I want to... I want to thank you guys for coming out today to share this moment with the club that I'm so proud of. We've played our asses off this year. We still got three left, gentlemen. I think we all should pay homage to this amazing stadium that we've had the privilege and pleasure of enjoying for 57 years. And I ask you for one more time to start the greatest cheer in baseball. Let's go, Oakland!
why they get pickpocketed. to say goodbye to the city of Oakland, to thank these wonderful fans for 57 years of baseball at the Coliseum. Well, Mason Miller was on the bump to be the last. Mason, a save here at the Coliseum, the last one to record a save at the Coliseum in the history of this great place. What are you feeling? What are the emotions in front of this sold out crowd today? It's probably the coolest moment of my life, um, baseball wise, sorry. Um, yeah, it's pitching in front of a, a home stadium like this, um, all the emotion, you know, it's it's impossible to put into words and all you can do is really harness it and you go compete. Um, you know, that's our, our task as a player is to give it 110% for each of these players and each of these fans and for this guy right here. <laughs> well, Mace, you have, you have made so many here in Oakland proud. The way you've burst onto the scene, the way you've handled the responsibility of being the man at the back end of a bullpen, the man to secure the Ws. And I know this day has meant a lot to a lot of people in this building, and I know it means a lot to you. And I gotta tell you, Mace, just to watch the progression and watch how you've handled things, the professional that you have become here in Oakland with these fans behind your back. I'm extremely proud of you, and I know these fans are extremely proud that you are the man to deliver the last W here at the Coliseum, my friend. Yeah, I mean, it was my honor to do that. Um, you know, just getting the chance to, to make my debut here and uh, be in Oakland Day for, you know, the past two seasons uh, has really just, you know, been an honor for me, and I can't, I can't say it enough. You know, thank you to all the fans, um, all the coaches, everybody that, you know, has a, a hand in, you know, this special thing that happens inside these walls. What a historic day, and I can't imagine a better person to be on the back end of that than you, Mason Miller. Go enjoy this one with your teammates and soak it all in. Thank you both. Let's go, Oakland. That's it. You know, Mark Kotze did such a fantastic job, short and sweet to this crowd, of being able to translate generations of players who have felt the same exact thing that this young group of guys in 2024 got to feel and got to feel at its height one last time, a sold out crowd. I know, buddy, this is so emotional for you. It's so raw. You're feeling it. I want to cry watching you take it all in. I mean, how, how, can you even put into words right now what you're feeling? Not really. I think you just hear the voices, you see the faces, and I think you just kind of let that wash over you. There's, I think there's much to say at this point. Today for JT Ginn. A last at the Coliseum and a first in his career. How about your first career win coming on the last day at the Coliseum? Well, for JT, I know how important it was, again, for him to be on the mound on this day. What he knows it's meant to the fans here who have already welcomed him with open arms. And I'm just glad that the fans, for the most part today, were able to take it in the way that I think they wanted to. It's been a hell of a roller coaster. A roller coaster that I've never wanted to get off. These players are going to stay out there as long as they possibly can. Of course, the flight to catch as they'll finish the season in Seattle, but they want to make sure these fans feel the love. They can soak in that Oakland on the front of the jersey for one last time. The signs that we have seen today. Thank yous to the staff. Thank yous to the people that have made this place home, that have made the Coliseum home for so many. That's really the center, that's the core of 
what baseball memories are taken away from this place. It's the community that has been built in the town. And that's the message. They might take the team, but they're not taking the spirit. They're not taking the love or the energy that built this place. That will stand the test of time. sign we saw today really put it in to all the fields today there is crying in baseball and we have seen a lot of tears for these fans that have yet to leave and I'm not sure a lot of them want to leave the Coliseum I know you don't and I know you're gonna soak in these final moments of the place started playing Oakland Athletics baseball in 1968 the flag will fly once again on the field. And of course, it's Max Schumann running it. Boy, Schu. to soak in the view and from that vantage point. And the signs. Taking a memento if you can find one. Anything to remember what this place means to so many. And I think right now, just kind of hanging tight, exchanging hugs, exchanging silence. Well said, Rack. Yep. fans here to the oldest fans here you can tell little kids know what today means they they're feeling it just as much as their parents or their grandparents or if they're lucky enough their great-grandparents last night my oldest daughter read good night Oakland to our family She started to cry. And she started to ask, does that mean Sissy doesn't get to go to the Coliseum? I said, no, sweetheart, Sissy's been to the Coliseum. And we get to take her one more time. She asked, Daddy, one more time? Does that mean no more? And we haven't gotten there yet. Joe! Joe! 
Well, this is the lasting image that I think a lot are going to take from this place, your girls included, who got to soak up one last game today, and that's this crowd, this sold out, passionate crowd. They came, they cheered, they did the wave, they chanted, played drums, waved their flags. fan base that will stand the test of time. Yes, you were. And we were too. From the first A's game in 1968 to the final pitch here today in 2024, baseball memories were made in the East Bay. It came to life right here at the Coliseum. And for that, thank you, Oakland. We'll continue to wrap it all up on this historic day from the Coliseum. Stay tuned as Toyota A's post-game live starts right now.